So the Old Faithful HTC One M8 has stopped charging, so it looks like we're going to have to try and do some surgery on it. So I believe it's heat up these two pads here, and then you can pry those out, these two plastic pry that off to reveal some screws under there. Which indeed you can, you just do it gingerly, and now you have like that mess under there to deal with. And that's how the back pops off. Okay, so there's one connector over here that has two screws that hold it down, and then there is a, a connect, an antenna connector that goes from there to there. So I just have to remember that, so from there to there. And then on the other side, there is a pair of connectors, probably Wi-Fi, because they're in a pair, that go over here. And now I've taken two screws out of there, and now it's time to pull up some tape. And that tape is covering up two ribbon connectors as well as an antenna cable that goes all the way up here. So we're just going to pop this off for now. Now don't forget this connector down here because it also conceals a motherboard screw right there. And we also have a bit of adhesive to fight with, I think, to pop this motherboard out. Uh, I've got those two, I've got that. And that, I think, is just insulation. All right. Okay, I think this pops out now. Okay, so there's the speaker. And this, I think, is where our problem lies. So if that connector doesn't seem to be passing <clears throat> energy into the battery. And I'm just wondering why that is. Well, now that it's out, we can actually do some testing on it, or I could just see if I can get a replacement for that. <clears throat> or it's also possible that the battery is just pooched as well. Okay, yeah, so this is only producing 1.5 volts of output when you plug in a uh, USB. So there's some sort of some sort of circuitry that's going on inside here somewhere. That's a well-shielded connector, or there's something else going on. It's just like a really bad connection that provides no, um, no current output, because testing it with this thing, this thing works fine. This is the breakout board I got from a, from a hacker box for USB. So 
two, three, four, five, yeah, one, two, three, four, five pins. How many pins has this thing got? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. So, <clears throat> it's probably that module, so I got one of those on order, and we'll see what we got. There, focus. Okay, it's a little hard to see, but I'm going to try and uh, put some juice into that battery. Um, we've got that hooked up to our handy-dandy LiPo uh, charger, and we'll put some juice in there and see if we can power up the phone long enough to get it to transfer its data off of it. That would be nice. Okay, well, that's a good sign. It's booting up. So I was able to take it apart and put it back together without, I think, destroying it. And the battery is at 41%, but it thinks it's at 5.02 p.m. I don't know why. Okay. All right, so the replace... <laughs> so the, uh, the new parts just came, and we're going to see if we can get the phone back into charging shape. Uh, now we've got the USB board back in, and it definitely is charging. So... Hallelujah. Problem fixed. Now we just have to try and get this thing back together. Okay, there we have it. Um, back together again. It's charging up. And uh, so it seems to be working just fine. Um, I ordered from um, a place called uh, E-Trade Supply, both the USB module as well as replacement um, uh, grills for the speakers. And those... Um, just uh, glued on very nicely and yeah so that is a successful repair and so now I don't know uh, maybe I saw this on eBay who knows <laughs>